Okay, you guys, I'm going to walk through now how to do the conditionals unit. So I'm going to skip the video and the um, what we call examples that you just explore. And I'm going to go right to the fix this program and the assignments. So this program is buggy. Let's fix it. So if you click on the assignment, it's saying Booleans like integers are, are different data types. So you have to convert them to strings before you can add them together. So right here, if you try and run string plus different data type, it says, oh, shoot, it must be a string, not a bool if you're trying to put them together. So we're just going to say, hey, I need to turn this equals a Boolean, right? We're storing a true here, not the word true, because if it was the word true, whoops, everything would be all right. It would be a string plus a string on this line. But since it's actually a Boolean data type, we need to turn that into a string and end the parentheses. So again, string and then end the parentheses. And now we run the code and it works. We check the code. All is good. OK, let's go to the next one. You would hit submit and continue. Let's go to the next one. OK, so this one's saying we've got this Boolean of whether or not um, needs water, right? And then um, needs to be repotted. OK, let's go here. And what's it asking for? It's saying um, our output should be. Oh, OK, so they already got one variable. We just need to finish. So I'm going to copy this so I don't mess it up. It needs to be exactly this name. OK, um, set the value here to false and print it to the screen. So this is equal to false in caps. I'm going to print and then I'm going to say and I'm going to again, I'm going to copy exactly this so I know it matches the expected output and then end the quotes. I'm going to add and I have to turn the Boolean into a string. So needs to be repotted and then I'm going to end that parentheses. OK, let's see what we get here. Run. Hopefully no errors. Check the code everything matches. So that's it for the first one.